Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam and this is Adam Sews. This is Friday Sews and this is also the launch of this June's challenge, He Made June 22. Right, so I'm just going to do a real quick run through of what I've been up to this week. Um, and then I will get into the details of He Made June 22, which I am really, really excited about doing a challenge linked up with Lisa from One Lisa Show. So I will get into that in a moment. So this week I have had a couple of days off in the middle of the week um, and I took that opportunity to get some sewing done. Um, I managed to finish off my three little mini blocks. Um, ready to make another quilt, um, cushion, sorry, quilted cushion. Um, I have stitched my strips together to make my fourth block um, and I just need to press that and then join them all together in a, in a, in a big four patch and then I'm going to put a border on and I'm going to back it with some batting inside and I will free motion quilt it um, and then I'll turn it into a cushion to match the one that I made in last week's video earlier this week's video. Um, I've also started working more on my uh, Tuna Nova quilt, which I've started with. Uh, I've not really got that far into it, but I've only been doing this in the evenings. And I've been kind of picking it up and putting it down just when I want to do a little bit here and there, and it's just really relaxing. Um, so I've started that one off with the homemade sewing machine in the middle. Um, and then I fussy cut all of the diamonds so that they fit in the centre of the out, outer diamond cut out um, and then the next round will be alternating hexagons on the next row around the outside of it um, so that's that um, my Aurifil artisan pack and everything turned up which I will link to the video um, whichever side it is that I did earlier in the week about becoming an Aurifil artisan. Um, I finished my maker's case that I basically, I was looking at getting the By Annie pattern um, for the everything, a place for everything 2.0. Um, it's really hard to get By Annie patterns in the UK. Um, and I sort of looked at it and I thought to myself, do you know what? I can probably make something really similar without a pattern. So it, I have made this case. It's got a nice big thick handle on there. Um, and I will just show you what's inside. So I've it's got a zip the whole way around the outside. It opens up and then it's got the first page. I've just put some elastic on just so I can stick like little snippers, my unpicker and stuff like that. It's all made from homemade fabric. Um, so then the first page has got my clear pattern templates in here my tulip needles these are um empty elasticated ones at the moment this one has got my orophil small spools and my sew line um glue pen i've got my sew tights um and some english paper pieces in pieces in there which were sent to me by lena patchwork um when i ordered my sew tights she, she sent me some free stuff i've got my tulip pink webbing in there which is going to be making my um, travel bag by Annie which I have actually got the pattern for um, so mum got me that from New York these are my mini spools by Aurifil. Uh that page is blank at the moment I don't know what I'm going to put on there I might put some pockets or something on there or I might just use it to pin pattern pieces to um, or I might just put a big pocket on there just to tuck any projects like that into so if I'm going anywhere I can tuck it in um, and then the last page as well is also empty so I can also put another pocket on there and this one zips up and then I'll that's the cake one at the bottom so that is my sort of maker's bag Dobby's crying I don't know why he just likes to walk around crying and listen to the sound of his own voice so on to he made June so I have I contacted, I'm going to move over so that I can put a picture in here. I contacted Lisa um, about a month ago and said to her, look, there's a serious need for men's patterns. Um, and it's really frustrating when you go online and you're trying to find either a PDF or a big four or something 
just that it's a, a modern men's pattern. And I don't want to go off on a rant and say about how Big Four don't supply enough patterns for men and this, that and the other because they don't, but anywho. Um, but there's very, very few companies actually provide good quality men's patterns that are drafted well. There's a lot of companies out there that, I'm not pointing any fingers, but there's a lot of companies out there that have made men's pattern as a sort of like, it almost feels like an afterthought. And I cannot rave enough about Sinclair's men's patterns because they are one of the companies that do make patterns that are really, really well drafted for men. And they're fit, they fit in a modern sense. This is the other problem, is that there's so many men's patterns that are drafted from back in the 19... 50s or 60s or 70s which is just not a modern cut nowadays so men's trousers a lot of their big four men's trousers patterns are a really really wide leg straight fit that just aren't a modern they're not a modern fit for menswear nowadays and big four patterns haven't updated their blocks i tend to find one they don't go down small enough so if you're anything lower than a some patterns will only go down to a 30 or a 32 waist. So if you're a 26 or a 28, which a lot of people are these days because people are smaller in build than they were generations ago. I mean, it's, generations ago, there was a lot more people that were six foot two, six foot three, whereas now it's not uncommon for someone to be in the five foot six to five foot 10 bracket. And there's not a lot of patterns that actually cater for that size range. I struggle hugely to find trouser patterns that go down small enough. L Angela Kane's men's pattern is brilliant for men's jeans because that goes down to a 26. Um, well, I, I think it's the whole size inclusivity thing. There's a lot of people that, a lot of pattern companies are doing really, really good things to be size inclusive. Men's patterns, they seem to go from about a 32 to a 44. And if you're smaller than a 32, which quite a lot of people are there is just hardly you're even more restricted with the small amount of patterns that there are so i wanted to develop a challenge that encourages people to make men's clothing because it's something that a lot of people seem to think that men wouldn't want handmade clothes but i think there are a lot more people out there that would appreciate it um and i don't want to go off on a rant because i'm not going off on a rant although i have kind of gone off on a rant but it, as a male sewist, it is it does get quite tedious when you look when you think to yourself, "Oh, I'd really like a pattern for some slim fit men's cargo trousers," and there is just nothing. You can look and look and look and look, and there's absolutely nothing. Even if you look for independent pattern designers through Etsy, you just can't find anything. So I have had a huge support from Minerva through Orophil through um, Wardrobe by Me, uh, Throw Theory. We've got some brilliant prizes for this challenge. So basically, I will pop the picture in here. So the rules are that you can make an uh, item of clothing for a man, a boy, a teen, anyone that is male in your life, or female. If you want to make a men's pattern for a female, that's fine. Um, but it's just to try and make a point that there are use for these patterns um, and that people do appreciate good quality, well-drafted men's patterns. Um, so you basically can make anything through June for a man. It has to be a garment. Um, and if you enter it on Instagram by tagging me and Lisa, which the... I will put on my Instagram, and I'm sure Lisa will on hers as well, the um, the picture that's in this video, just so you can refresh yourself with the the um, requirements if you need to. And we will pick some winners at the end of June out of the entries that I'll put up. So we're really excited to do this challenge. I'm so grateful for Lisa for coming on board with it. I couldn't have picked someone better. And that is He Made June 22. We will probably carry on talking about it throughout June. If you have any questions, either ping me a message on Instagram, drop it in the comments below. Um, and I am going to go and see if I can sort this one out because she's incredibly tired today. And I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>